The head is the executive director of the Faith and Freedom Coalition. He joins us now to discuss evangelical voters and the 2020 election. Timothy, it's great to see you again. You know, the Supreme Court was a big issue for evangelicals back in 2016. No doubt a big motivator again here in 2020. What do you think about the president's new short list of potential just, justice nominees? Well, there's no doubt about it. This uh, this is a decorated list, uh, just like the original list for, that we saw uh, over four years ago. These are highly qualified people. Uh, some of them are household names, like the senators that you just discussed, and some of them are lesser known, but uh, but certainly known in academic or judicial circles. Uh, I think that uh, that it, it it once again cor cor corroborates or confirms uh, that uh, that the president uh, truly does mean what he says when he says he he intends to reshape the federal judiciary. Yeah. Faith and Freedom takes the pulse of evangelicals better than just about anyone else. Uh, Tim, you know, we did a story with you in 2016. I remember we were out door knocking and, um, you know, you, the high school students and just taking the pulse of, of evangelical voters. What are you sensing this time around? What are you hearing from faith voters, Tim? Well, just uh, just uh, early early this month or last month at, at the beginning of August, uh, we began our, our voter education program to turn out evangelical voters, and we just in the last 48 hours have surpassed one million doors that our volunteers have uh, have knocked on, have, have physically visited. Uh, and interestingly enough, the two issues that uh, that most that we're getting most feedback on are uh, number one, the economic recovery from uh, COVID-related shutdowns, and number two, actually relates to uh, not necessarily the protests per se, but the riots or the, the lack of law and order. And so um, I think that, that uh, interestingly enough, those two issues, the economy and, uh, and restoration of law and order, uh, are emerging as major, major drivers for, uh, for Christians and people of faith across the country. Yeah, it's interesting they're not necessarily faith issues. Uh, Tim, so is the enthusiasm this time around for Trump as high as it was in 2016? You know uh, that's uh, that's a prevailing question that all of us uh, all of us have, and and as we've emerged ourselves going into the field here in the last few weeks, we have found, uh, frankly, not only in our door program but also in mail uh, internet engagement, uh, that amazingly enough, the engagement or energy level is even higher in 2020 than it, than it was in 2016. I think uh, partly because uh, uh, President Trump has has truly uh, delivered on the promises that he uh, that he made in 2016. Uh, but partly because uh, we're seeing, if you will, the true colors of, uh, of the Democrat Party uh, that, uh, that a lot of people are really, really not interested in right now. All right. Timothy Head with Faith and Freedom. We have to leave it there. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Of course. Thanks, Thank you. Timothy. God bless.